Now, he goes through this whole thing of showing you on his uh, pictures from his uh, <clears throat> laptop which codecs need to be uninstalled. And he says by doing that, just to go in and rename them, he goes into detail with that. Now, I tried that. I'm not going to recommend that. Um, because when I did it, the first maybe one, two times that I opened Windows Movie Maker, it was working fine. And then um, I just kind of played around with it. And then when I actually did try to open it and edit a movie, it started shutting down on me again. So I went back trying to rename the codex again back to their original name. And my computer now will not let me do that. It says that there's already a file by that name, which I can't find. So I'm probably going to have problems with programs that are on my computer um, due to that because I've renamed the codex. Obviously, they're not going to work. Um, so I just hope it's stuff that I don't use that often. So far, it hasn't been. But So I do not recommend that unless you are computer savvy, you know what you're doing, um, and only as a last resort. Now, um, other things that I had noticed was people were talking about install the Service Pack 2. Well, I have the Service Pack 2, and it was saying go to Microsoft's uh, website and install Service Pack 2. And when I go to Microsoft's website and try to do a search for Service Pack 2, it would want to do, you know, the check to see to make sure I had all the updates and all that. And it would say I had all the current updates. But it would not let me install it. And it was telling me, you know, these websites were telling me if you install the Service Pack 2 that you will get an option on your Windows Movie Maker um, that you would not have without it that could could solve this problem completely. So, I found a website which unfortunately I cannot find today to give you the information on. Uh, just try to do, if you already have the Service Pack 2 installed on your computer, try to do a search on uh, a full upload, or full download, I'm sorry, full download for Windows uh, Service Pack 2 and see what you can come up with. Uh, if it's on the Microsoft website and you already have Service Pack 2, it's not going to allow you to download it. You're going to have to find it off in a, you know, some other website. Um, if you do not have the Service Pack 2, go to Microsoft's website and download it. Download the full version. Reason being, your Windows Movie Maker has, it has an option to, uh, let me see here. I'm trying to pull it up. It has an option for compatibility. Okay? And in this option, you can uncheck uh, the D-I-V-X-A-N-T freeze. F-R-E-E-Z-E. -E. And if you have that codec on there, the main one that they tell you to check uh, to I guess disarm is the F F D S H O W MPEG four video decoder or any thing that has the F F D show. Okay. Now I just pulled mine up and I'm looking and it looks as if um, since I've restarted Windows Movie Maker, since I've actually, you know, gotten the compatibility tab and I checked those off, and I've restarted Windows Movie Maker a couple of times, it looks like it's actually added other codecs in there that it has checked as not to recognize. So, uh, a, it'll be a continuous fix. Now, again, and I'm sorry if I keep going back, um, I just want to try to make sure that I touch everything touch base on everything. Okay, so again, the Windows Movie Maker, when you go to the tools, you go down and you click options. And generally the options come up. Now try this first before you go trying to download all the other stuff. Try this first. Maybe you have a newer version or an older version and it already has this. 
But when you go to Options, you should see a General tab, an Advanced tab, and a Compatibility tab. If you see the Compatibility tab, you're going to click on it, and then you're going to go in there and you're going to put a check mark, like I said, on all the FD show things that you see in there. And then uh, click OK and then try using Windows Movie Maker. If it still freezes, I would go back in and click everything that's on there. Um, because honestly, out of um, all the ones that I'm viewing on here that it has added since I got the compatibility tab, there's only two that's unclicked. And that's Morgan Stream Switcher, uh, which I have no clue what it is, and AC3 ProLogic Decoder. Don't know what that is either. But if you do not have the compatibility tab, in order to get it, that is where the full Windows Service Pack 2 comes into play. Once you get that downloaded to your computer and you open up Windows Movie Maker, that compatibility tab will be there. I tried updating my, you know, Service Pack 2 several times going through the Microsoft website, you know, and getting updates and all that stuff and come back and looked for the compatibility tab and it wasn't there. I looked across a full version of the uh, Service Pack 2 uh, on a website. I downloaded it. I pulled uh, Windows Movie Maker up and went into my options and compatibility tab was there. I checked the FFD shows off and it is running fine. I am able to do the transitions, to add the text, um, to do the effects, to add music, to cut, everything. It has not shut down on me one time since then. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think I covered everything. Um, I hope that you find this helpful. Back Again, this is what I found that worked for me dealing with my issues that I have stated I have informed you of my operating system and the um, version of Windows Movie Maker that I have. So attempt these things at your own risk. I, you know, read quite a bit as far as in forums and uh, websites that I found through forums that I've tried to give you in this video. Um, into great detail before I attempted some of these things and again I would not recommend unless you really know what you're doing renaming your codecs. So I hope I've been helpful and I hope that you know uh, that this helps Becca and anybody else viewing that's having these problems. Again if you have any further questions um, once you get on the website or you know, how to navigate around something if I wasn't clear enough, leave a comment and I will do the best that I can to answer your question, but keep in mind, I may not always be able to answer the question. If it wasn't something that I did myself, I'm not going to be able to answer that question for you. So, everybody have a great day and hopefully I can edit this really quick. It take, takes me a while to edit. I'm getting new to it. So, hopefully I can edit it really quick and get it uploaded for you guys. Bye!